Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if y'all are new here. My name is Jazz. This is Earth Vibes Tarot and this is a Capricorn only channel, but you all are very, very welcome here. Sit back, relax and take a chance. My love, smash your like buttons. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. But of course, don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel. You guys, we're trying to reach our goal with 20K by the end of the year. So if you guys would like to help us reach that goal, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. But let's go ahead and get into this message because that's why y'all are here and that's why I'm here for you guys. So sit back, relax, take a chance, get your coffee, tea, water, or juice. I have got my little energy drink over here and we're gonna get started. Spirit, show us what we need to see for the beautiful Capricorn. The beautiful Capricorn Collective. What do they need to know or be aware of? Thank you. Wow, the Pilgrim. Opportunities and growth. Pilgrimage. Interesting, right? Especially with November, Thanksgiving, and all of that jazz. But this is a pilgrimage to a new land, to a new space, to a new place, a new energy. You're following the light. You feel very guided going about this pilgrimage. You feel very in tune. Bottom of the deck is the brawler. Lack of empathy, confrontation. Yeah, you don't really care about and it, this is not in a bad way it's like i don't i don't really care about anything or anybody else this is what i feel is necessary this is what i feel is needed and this is where you're going you're following your higher guidance system capricorn you are so in tune and deep in yourself right and this is again you are aware, cognizant of everything else that's going on around you, but you are so deeply sowed to this path that you know this is a path of growth. You know this is a path of opportunity. Yeah, the thief, seizing the moment, selfishness. You, like I said, I'm not letting anything or anybody stand in my way when it comes to this energy. Why? Oh my God, hold on. First of all, SpongeBob going hard. Second of all, what is going on with the lot? <laughs> you are taking control of your life here, Capricorn. D Seizing the moment, taking this opportunity, going on this pilgrimage, because this is a sense of achievement. This is about your blessing. This is about this outpouring of juice that spirit's giving to you. And it's not selfish, it's guided. This is where you're supposed to be going. You know what you feel is destined. Bottom of the deck is the champion, the smith and the fate card. Achievement, overthinking and accepting help, guidance. Listen. <laughs> Capricorn, you are in a place of bounty, everlasting bounty, something that is so deep that it can't be felt by anybody else. Like this, this is something so personal. And we all have this, this thing that we're going through. We have regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. And music, musician, snake charmer, harmony, melodic. Bottom of the deck is finances. Again, I feel like this is personal to you, Capricorn. I feel like this is dealing with your career, 
your education, your life purpose or mission here. And you're no longer going to regret anything in your life. You're not getting ready to let go of an opportunity that you know is meant for you. And this is where the selfishness energy is coming in because it's like, okay, well, Capricorn is da 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 always doing stuff for themselves. But it's like, okay, the growth of self and the power of who you are and then putting yourself in positions, collaborating with other people, it allows those people to grow from you and you to grow from them. Right. If we never work on ourselves, if we never take opportunities. Yeah. Look at this. Eight of cups. We're never going to know. Five, five, five. When I said that, we're never going to know. This is this is about l leading with love, Capricorn. A lot of you are, are needing to lead your life with love um, and let go of a particular opportunity and understand that you do have the knowledge, the talent, the skill, the ability, the wear all, all of the training that you need for this. You are A1, right? I feel like other people can see this, but you're not seeing this. Allow yourself to pilgrim, to be the pilgrim. Allow yourself to be the pilgrim and head through the valley, right? To the other side where you're going to be blessed abundantly because you've decided to seize the moment. You've decided to take the chance. You've, you've decided to let this happen. Yeah, look at this, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. How much more do I gotta tell y'all? Spirit's got your back. But you have to trust that they do because we are not going to physically see this. This is why I said you have to walk through the valley. You're not going to see it. You're going to feel it. Allow yourself to feel Capricorn. This is a major opportunity, brand new beginning, financial. This could be some sort of a contract that you guys are getting ready to sign. And it may not be a, a signature contract. It just feels like something new in your life that is abundantly blessing for you. This is King of Pentacles energy so strong as it relates to career, finance, and being like head of household energy, being able to financially take care of things, being financially stable and literate in, in, in those areas. And I feel like you guys have been working really hard to pull yourself up out of a particular situation. And this is an opportunity of growth here. You have the chariot card. This is quite literally you charging down to find your life purpose. Look at this. Do you guys see this? The, the remote is right here. Nothing is being pressed. It's just chilling. It's just chilling. It's just chilling. <laughs> the four of wands. Oh my goodness gracious. Or four of, oh my God. Four of pentacles. Yes, there's this stagnancy. There's this holding out. Thank you. There's this stagnancy. There's this holding out um, discipline. I feel like you guys have been, yeah, very disciplined, but I feel like you've been holding back a lot. Thank you. You've been holding yourself back. You've been holding your talent, skills, and abilities back. You have been. You have been. Because look at this. Hiding this power, this passion, hiding this serious, serious, serious um, and brilliant mind of yours, right? And this energy that you possess of creation and creativity. There's this hidden energy. Allow yourself to be heard. Allow yourself to be seen, Capricorn, yeah. It, you know, you may not feel like you fit in. There may, you may feel like other people are talking about you, but I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I feel like this is 
I mean, when you're the, it's what it is. Look at this. Judgment. Give us one more here for judgment. Give us one more here for judgment for Capricorn. I just feel like this is a higher calling that you're you're sensing. <clears throat> yeah. King of Swords. It's a truth. It's being spoken. This is a higher truth that has been spoken onto you, Capricorn. And, and I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is a spirit guide that's being blunt, like for, for sure. And you're realizing that you're having to let something go energetically in order to truly take on this and possess this new energy, right? In order to truly step into and embrace and embody this new energy. Because you're understanding that it's taking you to a place that you've never been. Emotionally, you do feel connected to this. It's probably something you've been working towards, but it can be scary transitioning because that's exactly what this is. It's a transition that you're having to accept and it's it's a heavy one, right? Because there's a lot that that's changing in your life because of this new opportunity that you so have asked for and is bringing in great abundance, Capricorn. We're going to break this down a little bit more, but I'm telling you, it's feeling so abundantly yours, right? It feels so much like it is abundantly yours. Let's dig into this energy a little bit. Oh. We're just going to kind of break this energy down. Capricorn. leave it there angel spirits and guides thank you so much for bringing capricorn and i together we thank you so much for these messages we're going to tap seven of cups we're going to tap into this energy for capricorn as it relates to this pilgrimage that they are going on for the sense of self-righteousness sense of their their path their purpose Look at this. The king and queen of wands came out. The king and queen of wands came out. This is a passionate new adventure, Capricorn. And whether or not this is a relationship, this is some serious magic. Don't be fearful of it. You look good. You're creative. You're, you're actually making these things happen. You're well thought. You're projected. It, it, Capricorn. Show us this eight of cups here, please. Show us this eight of cups here, please. The hangwoman and the high priestess. Capricorn, what you're leaving behind, what you're having to walk away from, you've already been pondering this. We're going to we're going to we're going to dig into this. You've already been pondering this. Already. And you want to know something? Your guides have told you and you have yourself been picking up and physically doing the work, but you're not, you're not listening to these senses. Eight of wands, knight of swords, eight of coins, judgment. I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel like you have been putting yourself out there. I feel like you have been letting your talent, skills, and abilities be heard. You may have been going on interviews. You may have been putting your resume out there. You may have been collaborating with other people, reaching out to other people, and you have received something or you're going to receive something, or this is a, a sense to tell you it is time for you to reach out. You have what it takes, Capricorn, right? You have what it takes in order to get what you need.
tell us about this Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Coins, Ten of Cups. Give us one more here, please, Spirit, before I, I say something. Two of Wands. It's almost as if Capricorn. There's this understanding of having what it takes, but then holding your own self back for the sake of something else that you want in your life as well not understanding and knowing that you can have both things simultaneously it's just about certain sacrifices and it's just about the direction in which you're trying to go here but it, it's it's super important to understand that you are able to open yourself up in this way without it taking you off course or taking you off track. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, the freaking Sun, and the Three of Cups. There's reasons for you to celebrate. There's reasons for you to be happy. There's reason, there, wow. Capricorn, Capricorn. You got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Whoa. I'm telling you, Capricorn, y'all going crazy here. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is also about travel, relocation, the end of challenging times. Things are looking up, a welcoming relief. Find your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression or illness, travel and relocation. You've been thinking about it. Now is the time to act on it. Tell us about the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, it's a very harmonious situation. Capricorn, the Six of Cups, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, children or childhood. Wow, with the Awakening card, Hangman, <clears throat> an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. Capricorn, this is about... You following a path that has been set in stone for a while, something that you've wanted to do for a while. This may involve children, doesn't necessarily mean that. Do y'all see what's going on here? Did I just put that card back in the deck? Oh my God. What does that see? Do you see what I'm saying? Got me all messed up. Tell us more here about this Ace of Pentacles. Clearly, it didn't need to be out there. Because <laughs> I don't even remember picking it up like that and putting it back in the deck. Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, being charitable. So much to celebrate, divine. So, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and angels for the peace and prosperity that's coming to you. I feel like this is, I'm going to be honest, something that you've been waiting to happen for a long time. This is something that is a good move. It's wise. Whatever it is that you're deciding to do, whatever it is that you're deciding to tap into is a wise choice or decision here. Tell us about the King of Swords judgment. Tell us about the King of Swords judgment. Tell us about the King of Swords Judgment. <sighs> the 
Queen of Wands. Lorshi, Lorshi, Lorshi. Brilliant, talented, independent. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need to balance between career and personal life. This is something that you're being told to do, Capricorn. There's no doubt about it. And I feel like it's going to bring a boost to your person to your personal and um, financial life. And this is really about you accepting this, yeah. A lack of self-confidence that make you feel helpless. You are not helpless and you do not lack confidence. Do not hold yourself back. There's that king of wands. Listen, I'm leaving this here. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I will speak to you in the next reading.